My name is uh, Bob Johnson. I'm a retired structural engineer and for over 30 years I've been doing outreach activities to children. Uh, 30 years ago when my daughter was in first grade I came into her class to explain structural engineering. Now how do you explain structural engineering to a first grader when their parents don't even know what we do? Well PowerPoint presentations really won't work. What I discovered is you need to do examples of structural engineering, build things, do demonstrations to show children how buildings stand up, how bridges stand up, how in occasion they do fall down. So here we have a simple demonstration to show children of all ages how bridges work. I have a simple sheet of paper. This is a slab bridge and I put it on my abutments and my support. And we put it on here like this and I tell the children can you get that bridge to stand up and I have some coins here and I put it on the bridge and that simple sheet of paper can't hold up some coins so I explain to the children there's something you can do with this piece of paper just with the piece of paper that's all you have to make it hold up the coins so I start doing this to the, the uh, children to see if they can maybe think of what they can do with it. And generally they'll come up with, start folding it. And I says, well, you've got the, pretty much the answer, but it's a tricky fold. It's what we call a folded plate. And the folded <coughs> plate has to be folded into an accordion type fold. So we put that on our support here and now I've got coins here, and I can put the coins in the uh, slots, and this will hold up the bridge. Here we got one more. You can load up coins, di uh, dimes, uh, pennies, you name it, and it'll hold it up. But that's too easy. So we have here some weights. And I'll put the weight on the bridge. And if we be real careful, we can get that simple folded plate to hold up the bridge. If I'm really lucky, I can get two of them to work. And then every once in a while, depending on how the paper's folded and how we put the weight on, we can sometimes get three, low, three bricks on here. Now it's starting to buckle. So you can see the um, paper's not strong enough. So we can ask the children, well, what else we can do? Well, we put more paper together, we can get it to hold up more weight. So we do the same thing, simple dime, and it holds up one dime. And we put another dime on, and you can see it's starting to sag. And let's put on three dimes, and there it really starts to sag, and if I add another one, it'll fall apart and go down. There it goes. What else can we do with these paper? Well, we can actually fold it together to form four of them. There's four of these folded plates together, and now we can put it on here. The dimes are too easy. So we put the weight on, another one, another one, and now we can start even stacking them up even higher. So here we have a simple demonstration to show children, high school students, and even parents why shapes are important. Now you gotta ask yourself to the children, what does this have to do with structural engineering? So I bring out a piece of metal deck. And here we have our folded plate, the metal deck. We place concrete on the top of this. And this is what you're most likely standing on when you're in an office building, a hospital. Uh, the metal deck is also used in roofs of all kinds of big box stores. So here we show to children a simple demonstration on how shapes are important. 
There we go. I hope this demonstration showed to you how you can talk to children and explain to them about structural engineering. If you want more information, contact the Structural Engineers Association of Illinois or my Twitter handle is EngineerGuySE. If you go to the Twitter page, you'll see a lot more videos. You'll see um, pictures of all kinds of demonstrations and exhibits. Have a great day.